Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy Kwanzaa. I got a couple things I want to talk about. I wanted to make a Christmas video. Um, I'm working on a video for uh, for Max. It's going to be a long video because I put every picture I've ever took of him, every video I've ever made of him, the whole life I've had with him is going to be on this video. So I'm telling you guys and girls right now, the video is going to be at least two hours long. I owe that to him. I'm, I'm starting to get my living room cleaned up. My drywall jack will probably be here on Saturday, so probably next week I'll start putting a drywall up on my ceiling. Then I gotta paint everything. I gotta prime it with this Kills primer, and then I have to paint it. And um, I'm still debating whether I want to put recessed lighting, because you know we're gonna sell this house in the near future, hopefully. And I know recessed lighting, if I put at least four lights in the ceiling, that'll really help. That'll really help sell the house. So I, I, don't, I don't know yet. I'm undecided on that, but I'm going to definitely put a new ceiling fan in there. And because the ceiling fan is black, too, from soot, so that has to be thrown out. And I'm going to test ride the big dog today. I'm going to test ride the rear brakes. I'll make a video of that. <coughs> Um, what I want to talk to you guys about is um, carrying a gun. Y'all got to stop carrying guns. There was four people, four dudes, got killed in the last two days because they thought they were they were bad. They thought they were OGs. Uh, apparently, they weren't faster. And they got killed because they thought they were badass and they were hiding behind a gun and they lost their lives. You know, you cats out there that have your Glocks underneath your dash on, on the magnetic mount, you don't understand something. Okay? Look at me, Ma. You don't, you don't understand that you don't have the element of surprise. The person coming at you, okay, if you drive like an asshole, guy going to get out of the car, come over to your car, he has the element of surprise. You don't know if he's going to pull a gun on you or not, okay? He has the element of surprise on you. You're going to get yourself killed. Maybe your family along with you. That's why I never carried a gun. Because if you don't have the intent to shoot somebody, don't carry a gun. No matter if you shoot them in self-defense or not, you're going to be in a world of crap. You're going to be in a world of trouble. You might lose your job even if you're in the right. So, you know, just do yourself a favor. Go, go, go in a safe area and... Don't don't try to be a badass. The other day when I was going to work, no one on a road at night, I pull off my street, pull on a main drag, there's nobody around. Probably within about 10 seconds, this truck comes barreling behind me. Had it been doing at least close to 100 miles an hour. Come out of nowhere with the high beams on. I pulled over, let them by. You know, these, these people, man, uh, today... They are as crazy as all's hell. They are brainwashed. They are under mind control. I, I, I swear to God, I ain't never seen so many crazy ass people, so many lunatics, so many people that are just out of their mind, as crazy as all the freaking hell in all my life. Okay? This world here is shot to hell. It's gone. Give up on it. It's done. People are brainwashed. They're under mind control. I'm 100% convinced of that. I swear to God, I am speaking from my heart. I am 100% convinced 
that people, and this isn't just the United States, this is worldwide, are under mind control. They are as crazy as hell. And, you know, what's even worse is when you have a stupid person that's crazy, that's even more dangerous, and that's what we got today. We got a lot of stupid people that are as crazy as hell, and that's a real dangerous combination. <clears throat> so I got some Christmas stuff up. I got a little bit in the Christmas mood. I didn't have any more paranormal activity from a dog. I think I told you guys I heard him beside the bed. I, I swear to God I heard him. What I did was, there's a chapel at my workplace, and I went in the chapel, and um, I begged God if I could see my dog again. And the night after that, that happened. That's when I lit the candles and almost burned the house down. <clears throat> and guys, I swear to you, I am 100% convinced that there's life after death. I had the proof. I was a skeptic before that. I've had a lot of strange stuff happen to me before this. But what, what, what my Max did was... I don't, I don't know the words for it, but it, it was better than even when my father died. When my father died, I heard him at the bottom of my steps calling me. And I, I, I've had more experiences with my dog than my own parents. And I'm sorry to say this, I miss my dog more than I miss my parents. I am 125% convinced that there's life after death after what's happened to me. So be careful what you do. Be careful what you do. Like I said, the video is going to be real long. There's a, there's a lot of, there's hundreds and hundreds of pictures of him. I think there's at least 20 or 30 videos. I'm putting everything on this video. It's going to be a long video. If you guys want to watch it, watch it. If you don't, I really don't care. And I don't I don't care how many people leave my channel. I don't care how many people come to it. Makes no difference to me. I still go go work. I'm gonna still go to work tomorrow. No matter what happens, I just don't care. And just like all this bullshit now with aliens, you know what? I don't care. I, I don't care. If there's aliens visiting Earth, UFOs I don't I don't give a crap. I just don't care. <clears throat> and now they're going to put this telescope, this James Webb telescope, that's going to supposed to see what the universe looks like. What good's it going to do me? What what good's it going to do me? I'm telling you, man, these people are crazy. They're crazy. What good are you doing me? It's not going to. It's not going to help my life at all. Whether there's aliens, UFOs, or you can see how the universe is... How's that going to improve my life? It's all bullshit. I have a couple things for sale on eBay. You know, at real good prices, naturally they're not selling. Naturally, they're not selling. I still have my Beretta. I'm trying to hold on to that as long as I can. It's starting to look a little bit better for us. I think I told you guys I put a down payment on a vacation for next year for next September because I'm going to bring. I have to have memories. I have to start having memories with um, my wife and, uh, and and the Siberian Husky we have in Kita. And uh, let me let me put this on pause. I got to think of what else. There's something else I want to tell you guys. I just can't remember. You know now if I put. If I put recessed lighting in the living room, that'll be a real big seller for the house because it'll modernize the living room a little bit. Now, my living room's a long way and my Joyce's run this way, so that makes it even harder. You know, 
and you have to have the um, the recessed lighting on a separate switch. You can't have one switch turning on your ceiling fan and the lights. You know, I could do that myself. That's no problem to run a line off of a uh, off a receptacle that'll hold that. You know, it's. I mean, my my electrical system here isn't that great. I really don't want to tax it with more crap. So more than likely, I'll just probably just get a a nice ceiling fan with LED lights on it. You know. You know, man, it's like when I go to sell this house here. You know, people, they want to move in and they don't want to have to start doing major stuff right away. Okay, this house here was built in 47, so there's a crack going down our ceiling. It's been there since I've lived here. I've, li I've been in here since 1982. You know, people, the people who used to come in here see the crack, they grow right out through the front door. They think the house is splitting in half. It's going to, it's going to like fall off on its side or something. You know, it's been like that for 60, 70 freaking years. So I'm going to drywall the ceiling, and then I'm going to give it like a knockdown Roman texture. I'm going to do the same thing to my bedroom and the dining room. I don't think I have to dry re drywall my dining room and the bedroom, but I'm going to give it a knockdown effect. <clears throat> and uh, first what I have to do is I have to prime those two other ceilings. And my kitchen drywall... I'm going to only tile the countertop because I'm on a really strict budget. So what we're going to do with I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to how I'm going to do my um, my backsplash and the hood. I'm going to use tile cement. It's called thinset, white thinset cement, and we're going to give that a knockdown Roman texture instead of tile. Then we're going to paint it real, with a real good paint, maybe a, maybe a high gloss paint. That way when grease goes against that, you just wash it right off, done. And it does give it a little bit of a fire rating too because it's cement, it's not drywall. That's what I did in my shower. My, my shower is almost 20 years old. When I built my big shower, I skim coated the walls with the towel cement. And then I painted it, and it's and I've taken thousands of showers in there, and it's still holding up, is not corroded whatsoever. Naturally, you have to paint it like every five years, you know. But it's a real cheap way of uh, finishing a wall without buying tile and going through to tile it. They claim eighty-five percent of people have a carry license. You know, the, the problem today is, like I said, uh, a lot of people are brainwashed. A lot of people are under mind control. A lot of people, their bodies are just riddled with hate. Um, they don't know how to have a good time without being drunk or high. And they think that they're protecting their family by having a gun on them. Uh, why don't you try protecting your family by not driving through bad areas? I've never carried a gun on me in all my life. I've never had... I've never had my life threatened. And trust me, these people around here will press your buttons like... like no other place in the United States. Because around here, I told you guys before what we have around here. This is a melting pot in western Pennsylvania. You have people here from the old country. You have a lot of nationalities around here. You have German Americans, Russian Americans, Slovak Americans, Croatian Americans. You have Polish Americans. You got Latinos around here. You got African Americans around here. Italian Americans around here. And what happens here is the people you have here, when their grandfathers and their and their, their their mothers and fathers came to western Pennsylvania looking for a job from Europe. They brought the racism and the bigotry from the old country here. And then they passed it off to their children by basically telling their children about these nationalities and races that are no good. So they basically brainwashed their children into hating the people they hate. 
and there's a lot of that around here. There's a lot of stupid, crazy people around here. And that's why they try, what they try to do around here, man. See, money's hard to come by in Western Pennsylvania. Money's real hard to come by here. There's not good jobs around here. Not a lot of them. There is some, but not a lot. So what people try to do here is they try to pull down lawsuits. Okay, they try to get you to hit them. They try to get you to run into them. They try to get you to hit them as a pedestrian. I'm not shitting you. They try to get you to, to physically hit them. That way, they what they do, then I'll call the police and they'll, and they'll have a lawsuit against you. And they'll, they'll cash it in. That's what they try to do here. They actually drive to try to get you to ram them. So then they can sue you. <clears throat> you know, the uh, any, anybody that's lived around western Pennsylvania, they know that this is a blue-collar area. And money is real hard to come by here. So what people do here is they have very little money to spend, so they do mostly everything themselves, from working on a house to fixing their own car, to cutting their own grass. They do mostly everything themselves. So what that does to all the other jobs is anyone that, that cuts grass, anyone that's a painter, anyone that's a home remodeler, they hardly have any work. Or they have to, they have to go out of, out of the state to bid on a job to work, to, get, to, to make a living. If I would have stayed in contracting, I'd have been in a bread line right now. The best thing I ever did, because I saw the writing on the wall, I got out of home modeling. Or else I would, I would have been bankrupt. I'd have been in a poorhouse right now. And I don't miss it whatsoever. I don't miss the bullshit from it whatsoever. <clears throat> but uh, that's, that's what's going on around here. You know, now, with all this bigotry we have around here and all the, all, all the nationalistic hate that was passed down from their fathers to the, to the kids from the old countries, is now you have these stupid, these stupid idiots carrying guns on them on top of everything else. And they're getting killed. They're getting, they're getting shot left and right. Because they're so stupid, they don't understand what the element of surprise is. And anybody that's been in the military, you know you have to have the element of surprise on your side. Or else you get killed. You got these people, I know a few of them, they have, uh, they, 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 they almost all have Glocks. You know, because with a Glock is when, when you, as soon as you pick it up, the safety's on the trigger. So it's just basically, you pick it up and you can fire. It's not like with the Beretta where you got to physically put the safety down. I mean, you know, how many seconds do you say? What, maybe maybe a tenth of a second? Maybe a half a second? So they have the Glocks underneath the dashboard on the Magnum mount. And uh, as soon as someone comes up to their car, their hands, their hands on the pistol. And apparently they're not fast enough. Because the guy coming up to your car already has his hand on the pistol, all ready to go. And they shoot him through the window, shoot him in the head, and they're dead. That happened four times last week. The four morons. Four morons. They all, all four of them had families. All four of them now left the families fatherless because they were morons. So, anyway, guys. Take it easy. Merry Christmas and Happy Kwanzaa.